What's up everyone, my name is Alex Costa and winter is here and it's time to make a tough choice because sometimes during the winter months, you have to pick. Do you protect yourself from the cold or do you focus on style and make sure that you look good? And the answer is you find the right balance, right? You find the stylish pieces that are gonna keep you warm and looking good at the same time. And here is how you do it. Number one, layering. So first off, what exactly does layering even mean? I know that some of you may not know, but layering is actually quite simple. It just means that you're wearing one item on top of another, kind of like wearing a shirt over a tee, then a sweater over the shirt, and a jacket over that sweatshirt. So now you have a lot more outfit choices. That shirt that you wore in the summertime can now be brought back and worn a bunch of times in different ways in the winter months. And you should go from thin layers on the inside to thicker layers on the outside. Basically, that means that you want the lightest fabrics to be touching your body, the closest to your body, and then the heavier fabrics to be the outside layer. A thermal t-shirt, for example, is a really good option for staying warm because you can add a bunch of layers on top of that to trap the body heat right in there. Then you can add a stylish sweater over that tee and a stylish coat over the sweater. And that means that you don't have to sacrifice warmth for style or style for warm. Pro tip here, don't wear the thermal tee and then like a jacket over it and that's it because sometimes you walk into a place and they have the heater on, it's a little bit too high or you go into an Uber and the driver's like blasting the heat and you're gonna have to take uh, that jacket off and you don't wanna be, you know, sitting there wearing just a thermal tee. It doesn't look good. Tip number two, choosing the right stylish coat. Choosing the perfect winter coat is extremely important for many reasons. Number one, it is the first thing that people will notice. So you wanna make the right impression. Number two, they can get expensive. You're probably Probably not going to buy a bunch of them in different colors so you need to pick one that matches most of your other clothes and number three they need to be both stylish and practical and i'm super excited because for this video i partnered up with backcountry which is an online retailer that sells outdoor gear and apparel for activities like biking skiing climbing yoga basically anything that helps you stay active and go outside and they wanted me to help inspire you guys to get out there even in the winter months so i thought what is more motivating than looking good and feeling good think about it when you look amazing you want to go out you're not going to put on an amazing outfit and then stay inside I know a lot of guys just go to the closest store and pick the first coat they see that fits them. Don't be that guy, all right? Do a little bit of research before you spend your money. What I recommend is a neutral color, black, gray, maybe brown, navy. Basically, you want this coat to be easily layered with the outfits that you wore during the fall. Let me show you some of the items that I saw on the Backcountry website that I loved and that would definitely make you look amazing this season. This North Face jacket right here, I got the black one because like I said, it's easy to style with anything. Plus, of course, it keeps me really warm. I've talked about chukka boots so much on this channel, I thought it was time to show you some really nice ones from Clarks. I love the color and the style. These will also match hundreds of different outfits. And of course, this awesome bag from Patagonia, one of the best brands out there for this type of gear. This is perfect for your winter adventures. I went to Big Bear to celebrate the new year where it's super cold and this was amazing to bring all of my things during a hike that we did. I also got my eyes on this Canada Goose jacket right here, man. I'm gonna have to pull the trigger on this for sure. You know, these boots here too are so sick. And that's the good thing about backcountry. You know, they have so many different brands at different price points. Everything is gonna fit your budget. Plus, since you're part of the YouTube family, they offered us a 15% discount using this code right here which means you can get really nice gear for even less. I'll list their website in the description below so you can go check them out and look good this winter. Jumping into tip number three, appropriate winter footwear. Can't miss it, right? The main goal of this is to keep your toes nice and warm and something that's also stylish. If you're going to the gym, for example, in a snowy day, which you should be, all right, no days off, then make sure to look for sneakers that are a little bit more rugged. I own and personally recommend the Adidas Ultra Boost All-Terrain, but there are tons of sneakers out there that will give you that winter protection and comfort for the gym. These shoes usually have like soles with more traction for, for safety reasons, right? You don't want to be slipping on ice, so pick something that has a really good grip. And of course, sneakers aren't going to cut it all the time, right? If you're going out at night and you want to look good, or if you're going hiking in super cold temperatures, whether it's dirt or snow, look into some heavy duty boots to make sure that you're looking stylish, but also keeping your feet warm. And the Chukka boots are great for going out at night. They're very stylish, but they're gonna keep your feet warm. The next tip is of course to find the right winter accessories. Covering and protecting your head from the cold is a must. So invest in a nice winter hat that is stylish and looks good on. And to be honest, 
this is one of those things, it's pretty affordable usually, these winter hats, so you can have a few. You can have plain hats if you want, that's fine. But if you wanna have some fun and you have the budget, then go all out. Also, scarves are really trendy right now, and of course, they're functional because they keep my neck warm and add a little touch to your outfit. It makes it look nice, add some layering to your outfit. As for gloves, personally, I usually go for leather gloves, not gonna lie. I really like how this looks. I also have these black suede gloves, which look great and fit me really well. Just make sure they have soft lining on the inside that keeps your hands nice and warm as well as comfortable. And how about winter grooming? Well, during the winter months, most guys like to have a longer beard, even longer hair to keep warm. I usually like the longer hair for the, for the winter time just because you usually have beanies on or hats. You know, if you have longer hair and you take the beanie out, it's usually okay. Now with my hairstyle, if I put a beanie on, this volume is, is done, man. It's, it's over when I take it off, you know? I actually did the opposite this year for whatever reason. I had like a longer beard during the summertime and then now I have like a, a shorter stubble. That was kind of stupid. Don't do that. <laughs> Guys, make sure to check out Backcountry's website in the description below to get your 15% off your order and also don't forget to subscribe to become part of the youtube family we keep growing every day and uh thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you again soon peace